Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before him. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, thou hast been magnified exceedingly. Confession and majesty hast thou put on, who covers thyself with light as with a garment, who stretches out the heavens as it were a curtain, who supporteth his chambers in the waters, who appointeth the clouds for his ascent, who walketh upon the wings of the wind, who maketh his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire, who establisheth the earth in the sureness thereof, it shall not be turned back forever and ever. The abyss, like a garment, is his mantle, upon the mountains shall the waters stand. At thy rebuke they will flee, at the voice of thy thunder shall they be afraid. The mountains rise up, and the plains sink down, unto the place where thou hast established them. Thou appointest the bound that they shall not pass, neither return to cover the earth. He sendeth forth springs in the valleys between the mountains where the waters run. They shall give beast, give drink to all the beasts of the field. The wild asses will wait to quench their thirst. By them will the birds of the heavens lodge. From the midst of the rocks will they give voice. He watereth the mountains from his chambers. The earth shall be satisfied with the fruit of thy works. He causes the grass to grow for the cattle and green herb for the service of men. To bring forth bread out of the earth, and wine maketh glad the heart of man. To make his face cheerful with oil, and bread strengtheneth man's heart. The trees of the plain shall be satisfied, the cedars of Lebanon, which thou hast planted. There where the sparrows make their nests, the house of the heron is chief among them. The high mountains are a refuge for the hearts, and so is the rock for the hares. He hath made the moon for seasons, the sun knoweth his going down. Thou appointest the darkness, and there was the night, wherein all the beasts of the forest will go abroad. Young lions roaring after their prey and seeking their food from God. The sun arises and they are gathered together, and they lay them down in their dens. Man shall go forth unto his work and to his labor until the evening. How magnified are thy works, O Lord, and wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is filled with thy creation, so is this great and spacious sea, wherein are things creeping innumerable, small living creatures with the great. There go the ships, there is this Leviathan, whom thou hast made to play therein. All things wait on thee to give them their food in due season. When thou givest it them, they will gather it, that when thou openest thy hand, all things shall be filled with goodness. When thou turnest away thy face, they shall be troubled. Thou wilt take their spirit, and they shall cease, and unto their dust shall they return. Thou wilt send forth thy spirit, and they shall be created, and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let the glory of the Lord be unto the ages, the Lord will rejoice in his works. Who looketh on the earth and maketh it tremble, who toucheth the mountains and they smoke. I will sing unto the Lord throughout my life. I will chant to my God for as long as I have my being. May my words be sweet unto him. I will rejoice in the Lord. Or that sinners would cease from the earth and they that work iniquity, that they should be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. The sun knoweth his going down. Thou appointest the darkness and there was the night. How magnified are thy works, O Lord, and wisdom hast thou made them all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto you ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. O our God and our hope, glory to thee. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all men, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for this holy house and for those who enter with faith, Reverence and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For our Father and Metropolitan Joseph, the venerable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, 
For all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for Metropolitan Paul Archbishop John, for their quick release from captivity and safe return, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the President of the United States and all civil authorities and for armed forces everywhere, especially Peter, Ronnie, Andrew, Joshua, Alex, Madison, Schuyler, Will, Benjamin, Thaddeus, and Adam, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have for this city, for every city and land, and for the faithful who dwell therein, for healthful seasons, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for travelers by sea, by land, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, and especially for those suffering for the faith, and for those impacted by the coronavirus and their families, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and need, help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and our whole life unto Christ our God. For unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Still be against the things with which they are well pleased. 
The judge is falling upon the rock, hath been swallowed up. They shall hear my words, for they are sweet. As when the thickness of the earth is broken upon the ground, their bones are scattered by the side of hell. But to thee, O Lord, Lord, are my eyes. In thee have I put my trust. Take not away my soul. Keep me from the snares which they have laid for me, and the traps of the workers of iniquity. Let the wicked fall into their own nets while I alone escape. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, with my voice unto the Lord did I make my supplication. I poured out my supplication before him, I shall be for him my trouble. When my spirit was overwhelmed within me, then thou knewest my path. In the way wherein I walked, have they secretly laid a snare for me. I looked on my right hand and beheld, but there was no man that would know me. The refuge failed me, no one cared for my soul. I cried unto thee, O Lord, I said, Thou art my refuge and my portion in the land of the living. Attend unto my cry, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of prison, that I may praise thy name. Lo, we celebrate the feast of Pentecost, the presence of the Spirit, the fulfillment of the promise, and the completion of hope. How wonderful is this mystery, for it is great and most solemn. Wherefore we cry unto thee, O Lord and Creator of all glory to thee. The righteous shall wait for me until thou recompense me. Lo, we celebrate the feast of Pentecost, the presence of the Holy Spirit, the fulfillment of the promise and completion of hope. How wonderful is this mystery, for it is great and most solemn. Wherefore we cry unto thee, O Lord and Creator of all glory to thee. Out of the depths have I cried to thee, O Lord, Lord, hear my voice. Thou hast renewed for thy disciples, O Christ, a different kind of tongues, that they might therewith proclaim that thou art the immortal word in God, who granteth our souls the great mercy. Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. The Holy Spirit provideth all, overflow with, with prophecy, fulfilleth the priesthood, and hath taught wisdom to the illiter illiterate. He hath revealed the fishermen as theologians, he bringeth together all the laws of the church. Wherefore, O Comforter, equal to the Father, and substance, and the throne, glory to thee. If thou, O Lord, should mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand? For with thee there is forgiveness. We have seen the true light. We have received the heavenly Spirit. We have found the true faith, worshiping the undivided Trinity, for he hath saved us. Because of thy name have I waited for thee, O Lord. My soul hath waited upon thy word, my soul hath hoped in the Lord. We have seen the true light, we have received the heavenly Spirit. We have found the true faith, worshiping the undivided Trinity, for he hath saved us. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch, that Israel trust in the Lord. 
By the prophets thou didst tell us the way of salvation, O our Savior, and by the grace of thy Spirit, thou art God from the beginning, and for the time to come and unto the ages, verily thou art our God. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with it is abundant redemption. And he would deliver Israel from all his iniquities. In thy dwelling places I offer praise, O Savior of the world. And by bending of the knees I worship thine unconquerable might. In the, heaven, in the evening, on the morrow, at midnight, and at all times, I bless thee, O Lord. Praise the Lord, all ye nations. Praise him, all ye people. As we believers bend, O Lord, in thy dwelling places, the knees of the soul and the body together, we praise thee, O Father, without beginning, the Son equally without beginning, and the Most Holy Spirit, co-eternal with Thee, the Illuminator and Sanctifier of our souls. For His mercy is great towards us, and the truth of the Lord endureth forever. Let us praise the consubstantial Trinity, the Father and the Son with the Holy Spirit. For thus did all the prophets preach, and the apostles with the martyrs too. <laughs> Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the
the world shall that so that it shall never be moved. The Lord is King, He is wrought in majesty. The Lord is King, He is wrought in majesty. The reading is from the book of Numbers. The Lord said unto Moses, Gather unto me seventy men of the elders of the people, whom thou thyself knowest to be the elders of the people and their scribes, and bring them unto the tabernacle of witness, and they shall stand there with thee. And I will come down and talk with thee there, and I will take of the spirit which is upon thee, and will put it upon them. And they shall bear the concern of the people with thee, that thou bear it not thyself alone. And Moses gathered seventy men from the elders of the people, and set them around about the tabernacle. And the Lord came down in a cloud, and spake unto Moses, and took of the spirit that was upon him, and gave it unto the seventy men that were elders. And it came to pass that, when the spirit rested upon them, they prophesied in the camp, and they ceased. But there remained two of the men in the camp, the name of the one was Eldad, and the name of the other Modad. And the Spirit rested upon them, and they, were of, and they were of them that were written, but went not out unto the tabernacle, and they prophesied in the camp. And there ran a young man, and told Moses, and spake unto him, saying, Eldad and Modad prophesy in the camp. And Jesus, his chosen one, the son of Nabi, who attended on Moses, answered and said, My Lord Moses forbid them. And Moses said unto him, Art thou envious for my sake? With that all that the Lord's people were prophets, whenever the Lord should put his spirit upon them. The reading is from the prophecy of Joel. Thus saith the Lord, Be glad, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he hath given you food justly, and he will reign on you the early and the latter rain as before. <clears throat> and the threshing floor shall be full of wheat, and the vats shall overflow with wine and oil. <clears throat> and I will recompense you for the years that the locust hath eaten, and the canker worm, and caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. And ye shall eat and be nourished, and shall be satisfied, and shall praise the name of the Lord your God, that hath dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be put to shame. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and I am the Lord your God, and that there is none other beside me, and my people shall never be put to shame. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions. For upon my servants and upon my handmaids in those days will I pour out of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And I will show dread marvels in the heavens above, and signs upon the earth below, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood, before the great and the notable day of the Lord come. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. The 
reading is from the prophecy of Ezekiel. Let us Thus saith the Lord, I will take you from among the nations, and gather you out of all the countries, and will bring you into your own land, and I will sprinkle clean water upon you, and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idols, and I will cleanse you. And I will give you a new heart and a new spirit I will give you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh, and I will put my spirit within you, and cause you to walk in my statutes, and you shall keep my judgments and do them. And ye shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers, and ye shall be my people, and I will be your God. Let us say with all our soul and with all our mind, let us say, O oh Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great goodness, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for all pious and orthodox Christians, for our Father and Metropolitan Joseph, for the priests, deacons, monks, and nuns, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy church, for all our fathers and brethren, the Orthodox departed this life before us, who here and in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation, pardon and remission of sins. For the servants of God, all Orthodox Christians of true worship, who live and dwell in this community. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bear fruit and do good works in this holy and all venerable church. For those who serve and those who sing. And for all the people here present who await thy great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For thou art a merciful God, and lovest mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this evening without sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is thy name forever. Amen. Let thy mercy be upon us, O Lord, even as we have set our hope on thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, Master, make me to understand thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Holy One, Enlighten me with thy statutes. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. O despise not the works of thy hands. To thee belongeth worship. To thee belongeth praise. To thee belongeth glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer unto the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That this whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Grant me so, Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Grant me so, Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, all things good and profitable for our souls, and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord, that we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, for a Christian end to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the fearful judgment seat of Christ, let us ask of the Lord. Grant me, so Lord. Call
calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and our whole life unto Christ our God. For thou art a good God, and lovest mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be to all, and to thy Spirit. O Lord, our God, who didst bow the heavens and come down for the salvation of mankind, look upon thy servants and thine inheritance. For unto thee, the fearful judge, who yet lovest mankind, have thy servants bowed their heads and submissively inclined their necks, awaiting not help from men, but entreating thy mercy and looking confidently for thy salvation. Guard them at all times, both during this present evening and in the approaching night, from every foe, from all adverse powers of the devil, from vain thoughts, and from evil imaginations. Blessed and glorified be the might of thy kingdom, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Being ignorant of the power of thy most Holy Spirit, who came to thine apostles. The Gentiles imagined that the gifts of tongues was drunkenness. But we who are confirmed by them cry ceaselessly, beseeching thy Holy Spirit, take not from us, O lover of mankind. Create in me a new heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. The coming of the Holy Spirit, O oh Lord, and his encompassing of thy disciples. Reveal them as speaking with other tongues, hence the miraculous wonder. As for the unbelievers, they thought it drunkenness, and the believers a cause of salvation to them. Wherefore we beseech thee to make us ready for his illumination, O lover of mankind. Cast me not away from thy face, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. O heavenly King, the Comforter, Spirit of truth, who art in all places, and fillest all things. Treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every stain. And save our souls, O good one. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to of 
for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto you, ages, who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy <laughs> Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Our God, the existing one, is blessed, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Preserve, O God, the holy Orthodox faith and Orthodox Christians, unto ages of ages. Most holy Theotokos, save us. More honorable than the cherubim and more glorious the uncum bed and the seraphim. Thou who without corruption bearest God the word. And are truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. Glory to thee, O Christ, our God, and our whole glory to thee. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Father, bless. 
May he who poured out the grace of the all Holy Spirit from heaven upon his holy disciples and apostles in the form of fiery tongues for our salvation, Christ our true God, through the intercessions of his all immaculate and all blameless Holy Mother, by the might of the precious and life-giving cross, by the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, at the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet, forerunner and Baptist John, of the holy glorious and all laudable apostles, of the holy glorious and right victorious martyrs, of our venerable and God-bearing fathers, of Saint Barnabas, patron and protector of this holy community, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us, for as much as he is good and love us mankind. <laughs> Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. 